Hi there. Uh, in this short video, I'm hoping to reveal the mystery of the status icon. My name's Greg Benson Shettle for Grey Tech. So, when we're looking in our layers property palette, there's a status column. And in the status column, there's a little icon. Uh, let me just show you what we're talking about. So, you'll have the layers. And then in the status column, you've got these little icons that look like sheets of paper. And some of them will be a kind of bluey gray color, and some will be white with a black border around them. And a question that is often asked uh, during training sessions is, well, what does it mean and is it important? So I'm gonna answer this question uh, in three steps for you. Uh, we're gonna look at understanding what they mean. We're going to like take a look at how to refresh them so that they're constantly up to date. And also we're going to look at, in a third step, how you could actually speed up the usage of your drawings by actually disabling the status monitoring of these icons. OK, let's get involved. Let's take a look. OK. Simple little drawing. Open up the layer properties palette. And in here, we can see that some are white and some are blue. What's the difference? In a nutshell, if it's this blue gray color, the smaller of the icons, that means that that layer has got content on it. And if it's white, in other words, it's an empty sheet, effectively an empty layer, then it appears white. That's the crux of it. Now, just to prove this, uh, we will uh, make some changes. So we're gonna add some walls uh, in, and I'm gonna place it on the walls internal layer. Just a quick reminder, if we look in the layers property palette, I'll zoom in, and here we can see that walls internal is white. Okay, it's not blue. So I'll make that the current layer. and add some walls in here very quickly. Creating a simple little layout. OK, so now we have content on the layer called Walls Internal. OK, let's take a quick look and see what has changed. I'll make some other layer, the current layer. Zoom in. And Walls Internal has indeed now changed from the white empty to the blue with content. So when you see this, you'll know if it's blue, it has content. If it's white, it's empty. OK, now. One of the things that can be a bit annoying, you may zoom around and take a look in various areas and you come in and look and you may in fact find that they all may look the same. Now, the reason for this is that uh, AutoCAD in the background hasn't actually refreshed the list. Now you could um, fix this often by simply closing the layer properties palette and reopening it. But indeed, what you can do, and if we just minimize that, I'm going to uh, put this little wall onto a different, I'm going to put it onto uh, walls internal demolished. There we go. Let's have another look in here. And walls internal demolished, if we zoom in, is still white, indicating that it's empty. There's nothing on that layer, but we know that's not true. So step two, how you can refresh. As I mentioned, you could open and close it, but that doesn't always work. However, we've got a handy little refresh button up here. 
click on the refresh, and hopefully you saw that that changed from being an empty white sheet to a blue sheet. And that's it. Now, one last thing, step three. If you have a very, very busy drawing with many layers, AutoCAD is monitoring this in the background to try and keep it up to date for you. Now, it is possible that if you find it slowing down, we can actually switch off that monitoring. All we need to do is a system variable and we're gonna simply type in show layer usage. Okay. It's set to one. If we set it to zero, it will then switch be switched off. And now all of these look the same and it's not going to be checking. You know, so even if I do refresh, it doesn't change. So if you have very, very uh, layer heavy drawings, using this method, you could actually disable the layer monitoring. Well, I hope that's been useful and cleared up uh, the mystery of the layer status icon. Uh, my name's Greg Benson-Shettle. Thank you for your time. Bye for now.